Well, good morning, everybody. This is Dear Mama Sal. Monday morning, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, sun's out, three degrees here in southern BC, in Canada, and as soon as it's safe to tell you, <laughs> it is 38 degrees just across the border in Washington State. <laughs> it gets very complicated now. <laughs> I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, I certainly had one of my most productive weekends in a long time, as some of you already know. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. First of all, lots of fun on the broadcasts. Um, for those of you who joined us on the broadcast, I don't think I'm, you know, it's like, I think what I enjoy so much about the broadcast is over the course of the weekend, I learn, I laugh, and I, I really, every weekend I'm so grateful that I started this because <laughs> the broadcast seemed to bring um, this group of people together and we just sort of sit there and shoot the breeze and yet it is so um, caring in lots of ways so funny um, for those of you who know <laughs> Aussie pimp <laughs> he came in and caused his usual chaos um, and I was so grateful that both Melanie and Ashley um, in particular who had not met him before, took him at his best rather than judged him for his language. Um, because he really is just, just a delightful human being and so funny. And Paul was wonderful with him as well. And thanks for that, in case Paul's watching this, I do want to tell you something. Paul was very patient with us all um, <laughs> um, because Bless his heart, he was very desperately trying to explain to us what was going on um, in his friendships. <laughs> and you know, when you when it's a single guy trying to tell you know half half a dozen to a dozen women um, <laughs> what's going on, you know, all the women are reacting because uh, oh god, anyway, he had to be there, but it was really funny, and. Um, Paul, thank you for the laughter. We really appreciated it. And I, I know that you've got a heart of gold and please know we were laughing with you rather than at you at the time. It was just, it, it was like we all are so scared for you at some level. Um, you know, to be between an Irish woman and with that, <laughs> and an Italian one. And I say between them, you know, you know what I mean? In terms of, if one of those two gets angry, um, not, none of us wanted to see you um, suffer in any way. <laughs> so understand that's where we were at, and it was just, it was just great. Um, so thank you all for a very funny weekend, one way or another. Now something else happened this weekend that I want to talk about because it, it was very, well, actually a lot of things happened this weekend, um, but very meaningful. And first of all, um, I really want to thank Nana. Because Nana said something that really got to me. And she's probably going, oh, oh. <laughs> but it really did. And um, it had to do with Manon and I were being perfectly honest uh, in terms... Oh, I'm not sure if Manon was there at the time, actually, so I mustn't blame her. Um, but anyway, being perfectly honest about how long it was taking me to tidy up my bedroom. And Nana made a comment coming from her... Um, life, which was 
how can it take anybody that long to tidy up a bedroom? I could, I could hear the judgment. And, you know, it, it just really triggered me. And the answers I had were not right. <laughs> um, so when I got off the broadcast, Nana, I just want you to know, and I want to say this in front of everybody, because I've got a feeling that there, I'm not the only one um, that reacts to stuff like this and needs to process it out. So I got off the broadcast and I was muttering a bit and I was going, well, you want to know why it takes that long? Because I work full day and then I come home and I do another job, which is called Dear Mama Sal. And then I've got a sick, you know, and I really, I listed up all the excuses you could think of. Do, you, do any of you relate to this? In other words, Excuse me. In other words, I had every reason in the world not to finish my bedroom. And I could justify it. I could rationalize it. And then we go back to this word rationalize. Rational lies. The truth was, when I finished processing it, which it didn't take me more than a split second, the truth was the reason I haven't finished my bedroom is twofold. Number one, as fast as I tidy it up, I'm untidying it because I'm not doing the very thing that Nana talked about that really drove me insane because I hate perfect people, Nana. <laughs> Which is everything in its place and a place for everything or the opposite of that. A place for everything and everything in its place, whatever it is that she said. So then I got really angry, this time at myself, and said, you know, really, are you doing that? Or are you just creating, tidying up, and then as fast as you're tidying up, you're creating more mess? So that really triggered me big time. And again, I could rationalize why I do that. And you know, the truth is that I'm just lazy. When I say lazy, I prefer to spend my time answering the Dear Mama Sal emails, um, checking up on people, doing this, that and the other, rather than tidying up my bedroom. That's the truth of it. And so the, the story is, and, I, and really I've always said to people, you know, remember that balance survey we did and, and the, um, the whole, I did a PowerPoint type presentation on balance. And for any of you who haven't seen it, let me know and I'll link it into the next video um, if you haven't. Maybe I should just link it in anyway because it's an interesting thing to do. And so basically the premise of it is whatever you spend your time on is what will get done. Whatever you spend your time on is what will get done, if you know what I mean. That doesn't sound like good English. I can hear my mother screaming. But in other words, if you don't spend enough time doing things, things are not going to get accomplished. The same as I have not spent enough time on the total gym, which is why I haven't lost as much weight as I would like. However, I do need to tell you I lost two pounds this weekend, uh, which I'm still not down to my... Christmas, pre-Christmas week, but I'm really on a mission now. Um, oh, that's so pretty. Sorry, I just got to show you. I don't know if you can see, I hope you can. Snow on the mountains, beautiful sunny day, snow on the mountains. Okay. Let's hope I don't get the stupid super zoom, which I normally do when I do that. Um, anyway, so... That fired me up. And I thought, which two rooms have been driving me insane recently? And the answer, funny enough, was not my bedroom. The answer was my kitchen and 
my bathroom. And I literally stuck into my kitchen, not into all the usual things that you do, but into things that I hadn't done. And I tidied the whole thing up. I cleared off all the countertops as much as I could, or wanted to. And boy, did that feel better. And then I went out on Saturday, I think it was, and bought my, I went to the dollar store and bought some little baskets and things that I thought I needed. I spent 12, I spent less than 20 bucks and bought a series of little containers and completely cleared off the main part of my of my um, vanity. Now I say the main part because to the right of my sink, and by the way, for those of you who saw the picture, I, ju I just love my waterfall sink. It was a luxury I gave myself that has brought me pleasure every single morning. I love that waterfall sink. And um, I think I've mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it again in case anybody saw that sink um, on the Facebook page and thought, oh, isn't that pretty? Um, I want to tell you something. It didn't cost nearly as much as I thought it was going to. It was like 250 bucks or something. And I thought it was going to cost me like a grand, but it didn't. Um, really pretty. Anyway, so, mind you, I got it from the States. So... I got really stuck in to all the crud that was on my vanity. And I just left my little tablet and some everyday stuff and that was it so Nana big thank you I then walked into my bedroom out of my bathroom into my bedroom and knew that the top of my wall unit had been driving me mad and I systematically I went and got the step stool and I started down one end and worked my way all the way down. And Yvonne actually came up in the middle of it. I said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm cleaning this. It's driving me insane. And as I wor worked down it, I literally, I've told Nana this one, but I literally picked up everything and said, is this meant to be in the bedroom? And you know, it's interesting. And if it is, where's, where does it live? because it sure as heck is not living up here anymore. And boy, that was quite a challenge. And all, all I was doing was throwing stuff onto my bed. If it doesn't belong there, and I threw it on my bed so I didn't have to keep going up and down off the step stool. But I was amazed how much was on my bed by the time I finished. And how clear the top of my wall unit was. I probably achieved more in... I was trying to work out what the total time would have been on all the things that I did. Two, three... Maybe half a day over a course of a weekend. Maybe four hours total. And in four hours, I completely changed the look of three rooms. Thank you, Nana. So, the point that I wanted to make in all of this was... When I first heard what Nana said, I considered it to be judgment. And therefore, it got up my nose, so to speak. <laughs> and, I, and I'm certain everyone, including Nana, understands where that came from. And then... You know, and then I was angry, of course. Well, it's okay for you. You're a tidy person. You're da -na 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 -na. And, and, you know, 
And then, you know, the kid in me was really having a snit. And then I started to process because that's what adults do. And one of the things I taught myself as a speaker was, um, is there any truth in this? You know, because when you, you speak, you know, a lot of people judge you. And so, I, you know, I used to ask myself, is there any truth? Well, obviously there is from the person who is saying it, otherwise they wouldn't say it. And so, you know, I processed that and went, yeah, there's some truth in it. Don't like it, but there's some truth in it. And then now the next step was the interesting one. Do I choose to stay victim to it? In other words, well, it's not fair. And, you know, really, if you knew, she knew how busy I was, she wouldn't say things like that. And da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or I could go, you know something? She's 100% right. Get off your keister and go and do something about it. Because it's not going to change until you do something about it. And so I really want to thank you, Nana. And I'm going to dedicate this one to you. Because thanks to you, I did some major spring cleaning, which I needed to do. And which I definitely need to do because it's spring. And I felt so good about it. So you made my weekend, Nana. And it was awesome. Now, along the way, I miraculously still had time to do all the other things that I normally do. I still had time to do an extra video on how I refill my no hand soap dispenser which apparently uh, quite a few of you have thoroughly enjoyed. It's a person standing at the bus stop smoking a cigarette. No, I don't do that anymore. Um, anyways, <laughs> so you noticed I was breathing in the smoke. <laughs> I did that instinctively. Uh, so I magically managed to do all of that and still do my usual routine. So, a body in motion is inclined to stay in motion. So in other words, because I got up and was doing things, I had the energy to do more things. That was what was so wonderful about it. You know, and I was pacing myself. I spoke to Christine, by the way, for those of you who know Christine. I spoke to Christine, um, I sent her a quick note, and because one of you had kindly let me know that she's busy in the process of moving, which I didn't know. And uh, I just uh, asked her how she was doing because we know Christine doesn't enjoy stress any more than any of us do and we all know the stress of packing. So I sent her some hugs and um, she wrote back and told me that, uh, you know, she's doing fine. It's pretty stressful, but she's doing fine. And of course she is. It's Christine. Hey, Christine, if it gets too bad. <laughs> I just have this vision of her tipping that glass of wine. <laughs> It's one of my favorite sort of pictures of Christine. So I'm just hoping that it hasn't um, triggered her... Um, I think she has psoriasis or something like that, right? And that's inclined to get triggered when she gets stressed. So I hope that isn't too bad and uh, that she's keeping that under control. So great fun uh, a good productive weekend and I'm really looking forward to getting to work because today I have a young person coming to job shadow if you like for three weeks and he is um, a young lad from high school who's thinking about getting into the business that we're in and um, I'm going to give him an opportunity to experience that for three weeks. Which means he will be my personal assistant for three weeks. He's going to learn lots of the things that I do. But in between, I will send him uh, to go sit with different people and learn what they do. 
and hopefully give him a good broad experience of uh, what life is like in this industry. Uh, I do it nearly every year and so it makes it great fun. I always enjoy it. The first week is normally very difficult because it takes a lot of time that I don't have to train. The second week takes less time because they've sort of got the idea of it. By the third week they are really useful and the two of us are really productive. <laughs> and then they're gone. And then I have to readjust because I have nobody left to delegate to. <laughs> <laughs> and I go back to my usual life. But in the meantime, I will have um, hopefully made an impression on a young person. And that impression is not just about the industry we're in. I'm going to teach him lots of stress management, lots of time management, and lots of other things along the way. And um, hopefully we'll laugh a lot as well. Of course, then everybody will think we're not working. Amazing how that happens, right? Why is it that people think that being happy at work means you're not working hard? Mad. Okay, so I'm hoping that wherever you're listening to this, morning, afternoon or evening, that um, you have a wonderful week. I haven't quite decided what my topic of the week is going to be, but when I work it out I'll let you know. <laughs> I like to have a topic because then that sort of takes us in different directions. So I'm going to uh, give that a little bit of thought. Thank you all for being there. Thank you all for... Oh, by the way, if any of you are um, have Google plus to me, Google Plus, could you do me a big favor? And that is unplus me, however you do that, and then replus me again. The, the reason for that is... Uh, because I'm trying to get everybody moved over to the proper Google Plus that is the Dear Mama Sal Google Plus. I eventually managed to work out how to stop that thing. Um, giving out information I didn't need everybody to have. So, that's probably going to drive you all to go and have a look at it. Hopefully, you guys will have changed it quickly. All right, thank you. This is Dear Mama Sal saying thank you for everything. And thank you.